Hello everyone. Thank you so much for joining me today. Welcome to all of my replay viewers and welcome to those that are coming on. If you're one of my YouTube replay viewers, this originally aired on Periscope. I come on live every day, mostly Monday through Friday. All right guys, I'm gonna flip the camera around and talk with you guys. Hello, my name is Keely, and I'm the owner of LoveHopeAdventure.com, and I blog about the marriage relationship, intimacy in marriage, and how you can go deeper with your spouse. So if this is your first time with me, welcome, and thanks so much for joining me. Uh, how is everyone doing today? That fan will stop in a minute, I promise. Hi, Lisa from Indiana. Thanks for coming on. So I wanted to talk with you guys today about... Kind of a difficult topic, right? Because I don't know how long you've been married. Hey, Angela. Uh, I don't know how long you've been married, but I think that if you've been married for at least 10 years, maybe even only five years, you're going to recognize that your spouse is not the same person you married. And I think there are so many reasons for this. Um, and it's good. It's good that your spouse is not the same person that you married. Because we should always be changing and being better and growing. And there comes a time, though, sometimes when our spouse goes through a period of time where the changes really aren't maybe the best. Maybe it's not what you prefer. Maybe it's not what you signed up for. And it can be hard. It can be really hard. You know, um, Austin and I, we went through a period of time where both of us became completely different people than what we were when we first got married. I think both of us did things and said things and that we could not have necessarily imagined ourselves being and doing. And that was a period of time. Once we got through it, I think that we were we definitely different people, but in a better way. Before we could get there, I think we had to go through some difficult things though, um, working through problems, didn't always know how to do it right. Still don't. We still don't know how to work through all of our problems. Uh, we still have issues and sometimes something will come up and it's like, I don't know how to talk to you about this. Um, I don't know how you're going to feel about that. But what I have found over the years is that some of the things that we have had issues with at the beginning of our marriage, given time, they've resolved. And maybe there were some things that I really had a problem with when we first got married, and now I don't have a problem with them. But my husband doesn't necessarily know that about me, and so maybe he hasn't even known that these changes have taken place. I might not even know that these changes have taken place. The same thing for him. So I say that to let you know that all change is not bad. There are changes that we go through as people that can be really good changes. Sometimes we might go through some changes that cause a whole lot of fighting in our marriage, though. There are going to be times when one person makes a lot of changes or goes in a direction that causes a lot of strife in the relationship. And that's tough. It can be really tough to know or to realize that you're not married to the same person anymore, especially if you don't like the changes that they've made. You're not always going to agree with what your spouse does, but does that mean you have to have an unhealthy marriage? I don't think so. When you recognize that your spouse is not the same today as when you first got married to them, and you're not entirely sure that you like all the changes, there's a couple of things that you need to do. First of all, you need to be patient with them because some changes that we go through, some changes that we make are temporary. Sometimes we adopt bad attitudes or bad characteristics for a period of time, whether it's just poor coping skills or losing our focus or whatever. So maybe one day you wake up and you're like, I'm married to a two-headed monster. What happened? When did this occur? Give, be patient with that because it could be temporary. It could be a season of life. It could be just a really uh, small period of time where they are going through some really, really difficult things on the inside and they're not handling it well. 
Can I get an amen for those of us who haven't handled situations well? I know I haven't. I know that I have been that person that it's like, where did my wife go? I, she was one way and now she's not. There are seasons of our life that we go through that we just get into a slump. And it can be really hard on our marriages and on our spouses. So first of all, have patience with your spouse. When you realize, okay, this is not the same person that I married. Be patient with them. Some of the changes that, that occur with your spouse are going to be permanent. Or they're going to be long term at the very least. And in those instances, try to find a silver lining, all right? Try to look at them in a different way and learn to appreciate some of the different things and changes that they've made. Um, because normally it's not just one change that occurs. As we are growing, as we are changing as individuals, usually it affects different areas of our life. And so maybe it might affect some areas negatively, but it can affect some areas very positively. So look for how these changes can um, be positive. The way your spouse handles things, whether whatever it is that they have done that's different. Figure out, okay, where is this positive? What can I appreciate about my spouse with these changes? The other thing that you can do is uh, you can encourage them to be who they are. That is so important in marriage. We, we do need to encourage our spouse to be who they are. This does not mean encourage poor behavior, but this does mean to get behind your spouse and help them figure out who they are, um, figure out themselves. Uh, guys, in different seasons of your life, you are going to be different. Okay, when you first get married and you're newlyweds, you guys are gonna be one way. And then when the babies come along and you've got newborns and you're rocking newborns and you're dealing with little babies, you're going to be different. And when you start raising teenagers and you're dealing with that, you will be different. And the minute they leave the house and you're an empty nester, you're going to be different. All right. You are going to be different through all those different phases. Um, and I'm not saying your personality is always going to change, but you are going to have to find yourself in all those different stages because it's going to be different. To a degree, it will. You're going to have different priorities. You're going to have different things that you do with your day, um, different things. Like you're going to see life so different through the lens of a newlywed, through the lens of being a new mom, through the lens of raising middle schoolers and high schoolers and being, um, you know, an empty nester your perspective is going to change drastically over these years and you need to figure yourself out during each of those times and as a couple we need to encourage our spouse to figure out who they are okay <clears throat> and then the fourth thing that you need to do is you need to address the problems in your marriage not their personality traits understand the difference between personality differences and actual problems okay we are all different about our personality we all have different things that we do you likely have got issues with your spouse like that um you know you guys have different preferences and you have different ways that you handle things because of your personality you know austin and i we're um polar opposites i am an extrovert he is an introvert and we i mean we have learned to come together on some things that we both enjoy but a lot of times we want to do completely different things. You know, I want to go out of the house and go places and do things and get away. And he wants to stay at home. You think this hasn't made for some fighting in our marriage? Absolutely. But we've learned that personality is not the problem. That's not the issue. Our personality traits, our characteristics, that's not necessarily the problem. But the way that we handle these situations, our lack of communication with one another, that's a problem. We've got to work on that. It took us a very long time to understand where the other person was coming from um, when I say words like, I really need to rest and relax. That means take me out of this house and let's go do something. And if he says, I really need to rest and relax, what he really means is I'm going to sit on this couch right here and not get up. Communication was the problem. 
to understand, okay, what is the actual problem here? It's not necessarily who they are, but it's, it's the problems are how we are handling it together or how we're not handling it together. So guys, um, it's okay that you're not married to the same person that you married 10, 15 years ago or however long you've been married, five years ago. It's okay. You want to change. You want to grow. You're not the same person either. The key in marriage, though, is that you don't allow those changes to pull you apart. Rather, you learn to appreciate the changes and you work through the problems. And again, like I said, um, this is not a pass on uh, being okay with bad behavior because if the changes are, I yell at you all the time now, that's bad behavior. Uh, however, if the, if the personality traits are such that, hey, I have an opinion and I want to be heard and I feel like I've not ever been able to be heard, that might be the change they're going through. The way they're handling it may not be very good, but it's good to have a spouse who has opinions and willing to share them. You just have to work through that in your marriage. Um, because the terms of the relationship have kind of just had to change because you're both different. And accept those differences, work with the differences and understand where these changes and differences can be really positive in your marriage. So that's what it was on my mind today. And guys, um, if you want to see what else I've been blogging about, go to lovehopeadventure.com. Always feel free to message me. Keely at lovehopeadventure.com. I'll be glad to answer questions. And if you have a scope idea and you want me to talk about something, just shoot me a message and I'll be glad to do that. And uh, as far as the rest of the week goes, I will be heading to a business conference this weekend. I'll be leaving um, I myself. I'm, I'm going by myself. Just me. Thursday through Sunday or Monday or something, I'll be gone. And uh, thank you so much. And if you, if you follow Crystal Payne, this is the uh, business boutique that she was a part of this past weekend. She'll be at it this weekend, and I'm headed out that way. And hopefully, I'll be learning a lot, but it will mess up my scope schedule on Thursday and Friday. So we'll kind of just have to play it by ear for those days. And I wanted to give you guys a heads up for that. So thanks so much for joining me today, and I look forward to talking with you soon.